What a perfect relationship. I can't see him. He can't see me. The new off-Broadway show Smart Blonde tells the story of Judy Holliday and her rise to fame in the 1950s. And today I am meeting up with the show's leading lady, Andrea Burns, to talk about why it's a must-see this season. Andrea, we are here on the set of Smart Blonde. Tell me all about the show. Well, this is a very New York-centric play. Judy Holliday was a die-hard New Yorker and an extraordinary star of stage and screen. So we tell her story here, but it begins at a later part of her life where she was recording songs with her then boyfriend, Jerry Mulligan. And we've recreated the original Olmsted Studios here and we're having a ball telling her story. So for you, were you a fan of Judy Holiday prior to this? I appreciated who she was, but I had not done the deep dive yet until I was approached about playing this and of course became an immediate fan. She was a great talent and for me it's just a thrill to bring her legacy back. And a New Yorker like you mentioned, what exactly are we doing today? We are going on a New York adventure today. We're going to visit her old haunts from her humble beginnings in Greenwich Village and all the way to her triumph on Broadway. So here we are, we're in the Village Vanguard in Greenwich Village. This is the home of where Judy Holiday began her career. She was 16 and she came here with her best buddies, Adolph Green, Betty Comden, and Leonard Bernstein. And her whole life began here and I'm, I'm just freaking out to be on the same stage. It's so crazy that this is the same stage, same name, and she was only 16 years old. She was unbelievable, and uh, of course, you know, Max Gordon, who ran this place for years, saw something in her and decided to take a chance on her, and the rest is history. So for our second stop, I'm excited we're here on Waverly Place because I used to live here too. So oh me goodness. and Judy have something in common. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. And I live here in the village too. So we're all village girls. She lived here at 158 Waverly Place when she was first married to David Oppenheim, who ran the classical division of Columbia Records. He was a musician. And they had all of their great friends over every night for parties that lasted till four in the morning. They'd be sitting around the piano, singing songs, writing jokes. They'd hang here till all hours, sleep till one, and then she'd go to her Broadway show, come home and start it all over again. Oh, to be a fly on the wall at one of those parties. Absolutely. So now we're here at the Lyceum Theater, which is home to Be More Chill, but it's where Judy became the toast of the town in Born Yesterday. This is her iconic performance. She actually ran here for almost four years and while she was running it went to Hollywood to make the movie and won the Oscar for Best Actress. I wasn't only in the chorus, I spoke lines. Thank you so much for today, it's been so much fun. Yes. Thank and you. thank you for bringing Judy back for the people that loved her and introducing her to a whole new generation. My pleasure.